it's been prophecies upon prophecies upon prophecies. But let's see and also hear what our pastor, our apostle, or Kiki Jesu has to say again concerning uh, Tinubu uh, Malami Fani Kayode and Dino Melai. A fresh prophecy has been revealed about these uh, guys. What is the prophecy about and what? Because these guys, if you notice, these are not regular guys that do things together. Dino Melai is not uh, someone that works anymore with the APC. He is on his own, always lambasting the All Progressive Congress and the President, Muhammad Buhari. And Fani Kayode is also not left out because for some time he was against the All Progressive Congress until recently we heard that he was about to, you know, join them in the All Progressive Congress. But that uh, report has not yet been confirmed. But yet he was seen meeting and having meetings with them sitting down and talking. But we don't know what the conclusion of that matter uh, ended with. And, you know, Tinubu, yes, Tinubu is the leader of the All Progressive Congress. So definitely it might be about him. What about uh, Malami? You know, so many things. Anyway, guys, I'll bring you the details shortly. But please, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please ensure you hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to uh, also hit the notification bell so that you can get updated anytime we drop a new video. Yes, let us hear exactly what this uh, apostle has to say, what he has prophesied about the minister of um, uh, the Attorney General of the Federation, that is Abubakar Malami. You know, the names of the people he called, he said Sinubu, Abubakar Malami, um, uh, Fanny Kayode and also uh, Dino Melaye. Anyway, guys, right here he says that uh, Apostle Paul Okiki Jesu of the Christ Apostolic Miracle Ministry has come up with fresh set of prophecies concerning some popular politicians in the country. Okiki Jesu specifically mentioned the Attorney General and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami, former Aviation Minister Femi Fanny Kayode. National Leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, uh, Hamed Bolatinubu, and former federal lawmaker, Senator Dino Melaye. In a series of claims he forwarded to Daily Post on Saturday, he said that God revealed to him that some people who he did not mention want to remove Malami from his position as the Attorney General. Thus says the Lord, people should assist the Attorney General with prayer during this period because they will like to remove him from his post. If he is not careful, he will be removed. I have previously sent messages to him concerning this plot and the contrary laws that can hurt and harm the future of Nigeria. He should be webbed during this period. People are seeking to terminate the Attorney General's life or remove him from office. Some people are after his life because they think that if he does not consider their proposal easily, then he will consider it forcefully. Their conspiracy is to remove him from office and give the post to another person. Tell the Attorney General to, to be filled with prayer and be prepared. Their plan is that if they cannot terminate his life, they will bring charges against him in order to remove him from office, he said. Speaking on Tinubu, Kiki Jesu said the former Lagos governor must not allow people to push him into a disgraceful end. He said again, thus says the Lord, I instructed him that he should seek the fear of I, the Lord, and he should not permit people to push him concerning what he can embark upon that can, that can also disgrace him. I have previously instructed him to find honest religious advisors that he will apply their wisdom to his undertakings. He should not lean on people's wisdom or the wisdom of the people that surround him. He should not allow people to push him in a manner that will ruin the future of his children. He should not see himself as an important figure. Instead, he should humble himself. I do not support using force to do anything or bloodshed or sever law. I send these messages to him because I do not want the, the occurrence of the event that can make him to weep between this month and April 2021. Amendments and steps and what I can currently what I'm currently expecting from him, says the Lord God of hosts, he added. 
on that of Dino Melai and Fanny Kayo, the both chieftains of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, the cleric added that the law says Dino Melai and Fanny Kayo, they should be wise during this period. Both of them need prayer and the wisdom of God to direct them. They should not allow anyone to coerce or push them during this period. Tell them to seek the wisdom of I, the Lord, and they should not lean on the knowledge of humans. They should not lean on their own knowledge. Instead, they should utilize the wisdom of I, the Lord, during this period. Dino Melai and Fanny Coyote should be filled with knowledge and understanding. Inform them to use the wisdom of my anointed men and pastors and honor high the Lord more than anything in the world, so that the events that can make them to weep will not happen. These two men need serious prayer quickly during this period. Well, as it is, everyone in Nigeria needs prayer at a, at a time like this or at a time as this in Nigeria because what is going on, people will make very wrong decisions. People will make decisions that can, you know, crumble their lives forever just because of what is going on. Everyone is so confused. The country itself is confused. So a lot of things are just going on that at the end of the day, people would not even understand how to even behave or, or, or what decision to take. Now he was talking of uh, Abu Bakr Malami that some people are working against him. The truth is this administration, if anybody works against them, it is all good for them because they are not doing anything that would help the nation to grow. Rather, they are concerned about their own personal gains and all of that. So it is no business of Nigerians if anyone is planning to take over his office. He should work on himself and ensure that he does the right thing. Because I could remember how uh, he's dealt so much with the former EFCC chairman. And, you know, when names were about to be mentioned, he was one of the people that the EFCC chairman first mentioned. But somehow... That case has been killed because he understands that he has a hand in all of that that was happening. So whatever prophecies against him, that is his own headache. And that of Tinubu and uh, Dino Melai and Fanny Kayode, just for them to be very careful. So everyone in Nigeria, too, needs to be very careful. So really, I hope that um, they will learn lessons from all of this if they believe in all these prophecies. I think they should learn their lessons that... They cannot remain in office forever. They can only be there for a period of time. But a time will come where they will also face the reading of the beats. So as it is now, they feel like they are high and mighty. But a time will come that everyone will be in the same position where they are. And they will also face what is happening in the nation. So my dear people, that is it. Thank you so much for listening. Whatever you have to say, please drop it in the comment section. And give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.